here we are exploring similarity and diagonalization of n by n matrices. Now in the previous section, we saw that triangular and diagonal matrices are nice in the sense that their eigenvalues are transparently displayed. So wouldn't it be pleasant if we could relate a given square matrix to a triangular matrix or a diagonal matrix in such a way that they had exactly the same eigenvalues? Well, we are in luck because in this section, we are going to consider a different type of transformation of a matrix that does behave well in respect to eigenvalues. So to begin, let's consider the definition of similar matrices. So we want to let A and B be n by n matrices. And we say that matrix A is similar to matrix B if there exists an n by n invertible matrix P such that the inverse of matrix P times matrix A times matrix P is equal to matrix B. Now, if matrix A is similar to matrix B, then we can equivalently write that matrix A is equal to matrix P times matrix B times the inverse of matrix P, or we can write that matrix A times matrix P is equal to matrix P times matrix B. So we can use any one of these different notations depending upon what we're looking for. Now, I want to make a couple of little love notes here before we look at an introductory example using similar matrices. And the first note is that similarity is a relation on square matrices. So there is a direction or order that's implicit to this definition. So in other words, we can't make any assumptions here. The second note I wanna make is that a matrix P, this N by N invertible matrix P, depends on matrix A and matrix B. This matrix P is not unique for a given pair of similar matrices A and B. And now this is easy to see if we simply take matrix A equals matrix B equals the identity matrix, in which case the identity matrix is similar to the identity matrix since the inverse of matrix P times the identity matrix times matrix P equals the identity matrix for any invertible matrix P. So with these two love notes, let's look at a quick example of similar matrices. In this introductory example, we want to show that matrix A is similar to matrix B. Now, our goal here, in order to show that A is similar to B, then we need to confirm that matrix A times matrix P is equal to matrix P times matrix B. So first things first, let's compute the product of matrices A times P. So here we go, applying the row column rule for matrix multiplication. We have row one times column one, which leaves us with one plus two. Row one times column two leaves us with a negative one plus two. Now, row two times column one leaves us with zero minus one. And row two times column two leaves us with zero minus one. So here we have the resulting two by two matrix, three, one, negative one, negative one. So now that we have matrix A times matrix P, we are ready to compute matrix P times matrix B. So here we go, again, using the row column rule for matrix multiplication, we have row one times column one, which leaves us with one plus two, and then row one times column two leaves us with zero plus one. Row two times column one leaves us with one, negative two. And then row two times column two leaves us with zero minus one. So this leaves us with the resulting two by two matrix, three, one, negative one, negative one. Hey, which matches the product of matrices A times P, which allows us to make our final conclusion that therefore 
we have verified that matrix A times matrix P is equal to matrix P times matrix B. And so we have confirmed that matrix A is similar to matrix B because these statements are equivalent. So there you have it. This is our beautiful final answer.